Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel. I'm Nicole. Hello. Hi there. Today I created this makeup look. It's very summery and glowy and oh my gosh, I'm freaking in love with it. And I know I say that about all my makeup looks, but for real this time, I am super in love with it. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, just stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so we're first going to be starting off with brows and I'm going to go in with the NYX Team in Frame. And I'm going to take my Anastasia number 14 brush. We're going to brush up the hairs. And fill them in. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is apply our brow gel. I just fill this up with some regular hair gel because I feel like it holds so much better. I'm gonna brush all the hairs up. Same thing with the other side. Now we're gonna be carving out our brows with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna be using this small Wet n Wild angled brush. And for this you can just take whatever's on the cap right here. We're gonna clean up these brows. Now I'm gonna take a little precision shadow brush from Sephora and I'm just gonna pat this down. And see that just cleans up the brow super nicely. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is prime our eyelids with some MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just using this Sephora Blending Shadow Brush. It's like really flat, so I like it for this. And we're gonna prime our eyelid. Cause this is a summer makeup look, so we don't want our shadow moving around while we're sweating. Okay, I'm just going to set that with the shade from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to use Tempera right here. And just set all this in place. The eye look today is going to be super simple because we're going to do a bold lip. So I'm going to go in with the same palette, the Modern Renaissance, and I'm going to take Burnt Orange right here. And we're just going to run this all along in the crease using our Morphe M535. Just so we could add a little definition to our eye so it doesn't look completely bare. Just for a little something extra, I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber and I'm going to take this Sephora Angled Liner Brush. And we're going to run this along our upper lash line. And this will also just help our lashes look better because we have some darkness there. Now we're just gonna take any like brush that's like fluffy and we're just gonna blend this out. So it can be more of a smoke instead of like super precise. I'm just gonna moisturize with the moisturizer I always use. It's the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And I really need this during the summer because I am super dry. And you don't want your makeup to look all cakey and gross, so make sure you use a moisturizer, even if you're oily. And if you're oily, just use the moisturizer and then get like a mattifying primer. I know Makeup Forever has some really good ones for that. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the MAC Strobe Cream, and I'm gonna use this as my primer. In the summertime, I wanna be extra dewy, so this is a must. And I don't know why I feel like this primer makes my um, foundation go on so much smoother. It always looks flawless when I put this on. So I'm going to continue to do that. Now we're just going to let this soak in for a little bit and then I'll be right back so we can do foundation. For today's foundation, I'm going to go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I am in the shade Fiji. And I'm just going to take a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. And we're going to dot this all over our face. It 
Like, look how much coverage this foundation has. It's insane. Okay, now in the places you can't reach, let's just get this small brush and just smooth this out and around the nose. Now for concealer, we're gonna go back in with a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're gonna conceal under our eyes and highlight the high points of our face. So right here, chin, forehead, and down the center of the nose. Just go back in with your sponge. And I think my eyes are just so close together that the beauty blender doesn't fit through here. So just, if you have that problem, just go in with a brush, smooth it out. You don't want any creases. Okay, now I'm gonna cream contour and I'm going in with the Sonia Kashuk Cream Bronzer. This one is in the shade Warm Tan. So I'm just taking this little brush right here. And we're gonna put this in the cheekbones around the forehead because I have like freaking five head. The jawline just to define it and run it down because we don't want harsh lines. Okay, now we're gonna get a smaller brush so we can do our nose. It's the same shape, just like a smaller one. Let me get the mirror for this. We're gonna run it down right here. And the closer you bring these lines together, the smaller your nose looks. So just keep that in mind. I like a short little cute button nose, so I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm gonna Put some right here and then around also like that and then whatever's left just run it down right here so you can get that pout now we're gonna blend this in with our beauty blender or real technique sponge whatever same thing and I actually like this one better it's like so much softer and bouncier and cream um, contouring and all that is good in the summer because if the powder part comes off, you still have a nice base underneath. Excuse my hair guys, it's so ugly right now. This just blends out like a dream, honestly. I highly recommend that product. And they sell it at Target. Now we're going to set this all in place using our Cody Airspud, Airspun powder. But before we set, just make sure we have no creases because we don't want to set our creases. It's usually the cap that has all the products, so just get the cap. And let's set. And I need to set my smile lines always. And for the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Setting Powder. And I'm gonna get a big fluffy brush. We're just gonna set because we don't want any of this moving around. Now I'm just gonna take this e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm gonna wipe off that bake. I always use this brush for this, it fits perfectly under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild bronzer and take it to Brazil. And I'm gonna take this Sephora powder brush. It's just super big and I like it to bronze up the face. And it's summer so we can use a lot of bronzer. So we can have that sun kiss glow. So I usually go ham with the bronzer. Okay, now I like to highlight, and this is my champagne pop. Yes, I wanted this one. Champagne pop, this is like the staple summer highlight. I really wanna get that M Reezy or whatever highlight it's called by Anastasia. I really want to get that one, but every time I go, it's like out of stock or they don't have it, so really need to check that. This highlight is so beautiful. Since we powdered our whole face, we want to bring some highlight back in, so like I said, go ham. 
Okay, for blush, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Party Blush, and it already broke because I used the crap out of this. This is so cute. I love this color. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with Burnt Orange from the Anastasia um, Modern Renaissance Palette. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply mascara, and put on my lashes, and then I'll be right back. You can leave it like this, or like this. <laughs> so, I personally like it like this. I love dramatic, I love big lashes. Okay, so for lips, when I think of summer, I think of like that reddish orange color, but this is the closest color I have to it. It's the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Dallas. So this is the color I'm gonna be using today. My lips are absolutely disgusting right now, but, Anyways, I'm going to use a brush because this is a bolder color and I want to get a really precise line. Guys, I'm obsessed with this color. Okay, so my go-to clear gloss is the Sephora Colorful Gloss Balm. But it's just clear, it's not colorful. <laughs> and we're just gonna gloss this up. I'm gonna use the MAC uh, Fix Plus. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm going to use this shade right here called Nectar. It's like golden. And this is the only inner corner I highlight that's like a gold that I have. So I really love this. So I'm just going to pop this in the inner corners really quick. Like that instant glowiness. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Okay, so this is a completed makeup look. It's very summery and this color just screams summer to me. I freaking love this makeup tutorial and I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please come back for my next video and subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.